Okay, of course, we know where you are. This is Ruth Jesus. My name is ADS Oshie. Let's do this. I see the heart. Okay. There is something I'm trying so hard to understand with this presidency. Is it that the president needs to be informed about some anomalies happening within his appointees before he can take action? Like the president is not in control of his government or what? I'm asking. <laughs> This government is never aware of anything, and I'm beginning to wonder how this government fights corruption. You can wonder with me. Yes, this government claims no other government in the past is more concerned about corruption than they are. How do you fight corruption when you ain't even aware it's happening unless you are told? How does this government conduct its routine check on its agencies? For example, ASO has been on strike for over three months now. There has been negotiations and counter-negotiations ever since then. The government, without the fear of God, said they ain't aware ASO is on strike. So all negotiations that has gone in, we are never tabled before Mr. President, I guess. <laughs> what a shame. A chief in the Nigerian politics, Al-Haji Buba Galadima, has alleged that the Buhari's government ain't fighting corruption. But encouraging it under his watch. He made an example of the accountant general that stole 80 billion naira. And he said that this same accountant general of the federation that is making the news now has always been reported to Buhari severally. But he would rather, he, Buhari, would rather have him remain there even after his tenure has expired for two years than have him removed. Imagine. So the accountant general for two years was occupying an office he has no jurisdiction to occupy. I wouldn't be surprised if the 80 billion was stolen in these two years of illegal extension of tenure. This government is really fighting corruption. No? <laughs> now watch Alahaj Buba Galadima dish out some truths here about this government fighting corruption. Watch. What do they need? What? 80 billion. 80 billion. To do what? What's your assessment of the fight against corruption? Has it changed from your perception in 2020? Do you believe that this man is fighting corruption? Because he arrested the accountant general. How many times was he told of the actions of the accountant general? It was because the, 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 the port is almost uh, overflowing and there was nothing you could do that he was forced to, 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 to get him picked. It's not the first time. Go and ask him that reports were made. Even when the accountant general's tenure has expired, he allowed him to continue to continue stealing. When did his uh, tenure expire? Two years ago. Why did he leave him in public office? Was he greasing the palms of some people around him? <laughs> That's it. People steal what they don't need. 80 billion for what? With 80 billion, I would transform the ancient kingdom of Arochuku in 12 calendar months. Yes, I'm saying so. Arochuku will be like Las Vegas, trust me. You see the face he made when he called out that, that amount. You saw the face, right? 80 billion naira. <laughs> That's to tell you that the art is born out of wickedness and not greed. So our politicians have left the era of being greedy to this era of total wickedness. For me, this government is worst in its fight against corruption. Oh yes, I say so. I'll see you again. Please remember to follow us on all our social media channels showing on your screen right now. Until I see you again, my name is A.D.S. Signing out.